Hello everyone. This is a quick overview of the enhancements to the render font tool in Inkscape stroke font extensions, which were published a few days back. If you haven't seen the earlier introductory video, it may be a good idea to watch it before continuing with this one. The render text tool as mentioned in the earlier video allows rendering of multiple lines. The line breaks are marked by backslash n in the input text. For example, if I want to render this text using stroke fonts, I can simply replace the new line character with backslash n and paste this text here in the text input. Choose this option, render the text and say apply. And we have the multi-line text rendered in the selected stroke font. In addition to this, the tool now provides an option to specify a text file from which the text should be taken for rendering. So I provide the full path of the text file here in this box and select this option, render text from file. And we have the complete text of the file rendered in the stroke font. Be careful with large files because it might take a very long time if the file size is really big. In addition to this, you can specify care spacing and line spacing for rendered text. And there is an option to flow the text in the selected boxes. I can create rectangles. There can be more than one and select all the rectangles and check this option flow text in selected boxes. Choose the text alignment and say apply. And the text will be rendered in the selected rectangles. The order of rendered text is basically the Z order of the rectangles. Let's see justified text this time and some German text. I have recently added the German glyphs to the bundled fonts. Maybe we can increase the size, text size and choose the rectangles and say apply. And here the text is rendered with justified text alignment. You can also specify the margin here. If I say zero, there will be no margin at all between the text and the selected boxes. So this is the rendered text and there is no gap between the text and the rectangles. There is also one change with respect to the storage of the font data. Earlier, the data of all the fonts was stored in a single XML file, but that could lead to a performance problem if there are very large number of fonts. So now we have a separate directory which will be created when you extract the zip file. And within this directory, we have individual XML files for each font. The structure remains more or less the same. The only addition is that we now have the bounding boxes of each glyph and all these values are rounded to two decimal places. So it's always better to have a font size greater than 100 when you are creating the font template in case you want to design the font. And if you want to delete or rename a font, you just need to delete or rename the corresponding XML file and invoke the synchronized font list and restart Inkscape. So next time this list will reflect the changes. That's it for now. If you have feedback or suggestions, please share them in the comments section. Thank you very much.